It's Nick Mesnier with Andy Morrison after the Nomads 2-0 victory to confirm our place in Europe. Andy, last week you said we were going to go and go again today against Baller and do exactly what we needed. We've done exactly that. Yeah, I stopped my neck out last week and said I don't need no favours of anybody. I knew, um, you know, I, I called it before the game that TNS would go to Bangor and lose and um, that we'd have to get to the right results here. And, uh, and they've done it, you know, 2-0 is, uh, is a testament really to, the, to the, the performance and the way the game went. We were never in danger, um, they never caused us any problems whatsoever, John Danby never had a save to make. And we were always just that little bit but, um, brighter, a little bit sharper and, uh, and ultimately, you know, our set plays were better than theirs and, and uh, you know, and that's what's gone and uh, won us a game. Considering he went down early, early on in the first half as well, George Haran comes up with another header as well, another vital goal for George. Yeah, you know, listen, what can you say about George Oran? Um, you know, he's uh, he's got a, another crack on the eye again, but you know, he just keeps going and, um, you know, and that's why he's your captain. Um, you know, he's done it for years and, you know, I don't want to really call anybody out today because I thought all, every player from 1 to 11 were absolutely magnificent. Um, you know, they stuck to the game plan. We knew what we'd have to do against um, against Bala and, uh, and, we, and we got the result, you know, so absolutely delighted for them. So proud of the lads. I've just said that to them. Um, you know, they've got a... They've had to overcome so much this year with um, with the injuries. You know, it's the it's the worst injury record in in Welsh Premier League history. I mean, nobody's had cruciates and broken feet and fractured feet and, and and ruptured ankle ligaments and you know what we've had to come back with. So um, you know, and, and and the testament again is to our, our defensive record. We've uh, you know we concede. You know, if you take TNS at the equation against the other part-time clubs, we concede 0.6 goals on average a game, which is quite staggering achievement. Um, you know, so they take great credit for that, and they also take credit because they have to put up with me. You know, they got to put up with me um, week after week, month after month. You know, and I'm relentless. You know, I never let up on them. Um, I never stop demanding. I never stop pushing. And and um, you know, in every single game um, this season, you know, they, they, they've given me everything they've got, and they've not come up short. And, and like I said, so so proud of them. Obviously very proud to qualify for Europe today, but the opportunity is still there for getting into the Iron Brew Cup next week as well now, if we get the, uh, the points that we need against Cardiff. Yeah, we were um, three minutes to go against Bala, we were nine points behind them um, at their place, and um, again, showed the character, we are now, we're above them and we're rightly above them, um, and we need to go down next week and, and, and match the same score as what um, TNS do at Bala. Um, you know, T uh, Bala have not beat TNS in nearly 30 games, I think. So, you know, I think a point down at um, Cardiff Met will be enough to get a second place, um, and that's thoroughly deserved. And again, it's a, uh, you know, I came here, Nick, 18 months ago, and we were bottom of the league. We now have back-to-back -back European campaigns, and we've put nearly 700,000 euros in the coffers in 18 months. You know, so it's a staggering achievement. I'm so proud of what we've done, but we can't last than our laurels. We have to kick on again now. And we have to do what Bal have done the last three years. We have to go and um, we have to go and cherry pick the best players in this league to add to the group that we've got. And we've got to get better and better and better and keep challenging because that's the only way. Because if you if you don't, you go backwards. And you've seen what's happened this year with a with a club who just got relegated, who were three years in Europe. Now they're in the Hughes Gray Alliance. You know, so you take your eye off the ball. Things can change very very quickly. And uh, you know, we won't. We'll, we'll, we'll work really hard this week, and then we'll go down to. Uh, Cardiff met next week. We'll prepare perfectly for it, and uh, we'll give a great account of ourselves. Um, you know, I'm going to enjoy a couple of days and have two or three days switch off, and then I'm going to go all out again for that second place.